Thank you so much, Vanya. Thank you for an amazing welcome and introduction. And for the warmed up audience, hi, everyone. So let us talk about the long-term growth. Growth has been mentioned many times today. It's very important for us. And um, I want to tell you how we are planning to drive it. Vanya had a lot of numbers, but one is 47 revenue growth. It's a phenomenal number. And um, on the one hand, when we look at it, we um, are completely amazed. But on the other hand, when we look at it, but, but then, but then and of course, we ask ourselves, how do we make this growth long term? That's what we're going to be talking about. There are a lot of there are barriers to growth, and you know them: the competition and the client context. Just a few words about them, so just to find ourselves where we, where we are. So we do have very strong competition. It helps us grow, and uh, we have the three blocks. So the um, chain pizza brands. We are fine with those, and we're holding up those. The the second group is the is the chain fast food um, restaurants from um, the U.S. And then, of course, the th uh, the third is the aggregators. Second and third groups are harder to tackle. Our competition invests. Um, they invest in IT, and they work out very. Um, they they in make very great um, apps. Um, so there's IT. There's business models that they invest in a lot. Um, aggregators um, control the demand, and um, there's nothing that is going to stop them tomorrow from um, actually selling um, something of their own dark kitchen instead of the um, and what people are used to. Deliveries. Everyone um, has has been talking about a courier shortage. Um, the Delivery um, time is shortened, so so that's something that we have to keep in mind. And then promotion and ads. The marketing budgets are um, tenfold of ours. Cl client context. So what's up with our clients? Um, the market uncertainty makes it hard for um, our clients. They're sensitive to price also. In May this year, um, 3,200 um, entrepreneurs were polled by Alpha Bank. And, um, 86% uh, of the polled entrepreneurs um, says that sa said that they see um, the purchase power lowering from their clients. Uh, what are the reactions to the situations? The um, research by Nielsen at the beginning of this year shows that 68% of Russians are ready um, to buy any product at a discount. So. The price sensitivity is another barrier for our growth. So, so what do we do about it? How do we work with it? Of course, we have the basis, which is our client experience. So there are three parts, three components to it. Their menu, their service, and then the digital, so our mobile app. So just a few words about each of them and what, what our plans are for um, each of them for the future, for the near future. So the menu, we are um, continuing the optimization we leave out um, quite a lot of items and we only um, keep the most successful items to um, optimize the um, um, our most popular items. Um, there is also a trend for healthier eating, for more conscious eating. Our pizza is already a healthy product today. You see what you eat. These are very high quality ingredients. And so the way we see our task in the, in the near future is to help the clients who are taking care of their health to make the right choice. For them to, um, for the clients to see the macronutrients and the calories, um, so we're working in this. Of course, taste and flavor uh, is something that we're working um, on. Next week, we're launching Freestyle Pizza. We are, we keep to the strategy of launching one or two new items, new flavors. Um, every month in September, launching amazingly fantastic sandwiches. And you see, I'm I'm swallowing because because of the all of the fabulous testing that we've done in this. And then our media um, personality, that is Costa, will invite uh, a well-known chef for us to make something together. Um, so this is what it comes to menu. Second is service. Service is you, the partners, the directors, managing directors 
cashiers, um, couriers, kitchen workers, all of you are working tirelessly and are making um, something that uh, that is so amazing. Um, so a lot of respect to you and thank you. So digital. So what's happening with digital? We are continuing to develop our app in July we're finally launching stories which is a format that's very familiar and that's um, loved much loved by the clients and it's everywhere um, to be found so this is something that we're going to be using to talk about the new items to tell stories about our brand to um, to give our clients an idea of, of our updates, um, how to use the app in in the room on the floor, in the restaurant, in, in site. Combo. So by the end of this year, um, in two operations, we're going to improve the combo. First of all, we're going to simplify the choice. Um, so we're going to um, give an opportunity to include more expensive pizzas in the combo and we're also going to find ways um, of making this product more attractive. And then hot beverages, it's not the easiest to, to choose and pick um, these from our app, but we're going to work on this and we're going to optimize this. Is this enough? It's a rhetorical question. Of course, it is not, um, it is not enough. Um, so Vanya did um, did already actually um, give a sneak peek of the fact that I'm going to be talking about personalizations. This is something that we're going to be using as a platform for takeoff. So um, brand. Brand and personalization. Brand. Um, ever since the last year's meetup, we have been working on top of mind uh, recognizability of the brand. So when you when you reach a level that that we have reached, it's already um, quite a task to to keep it and to to improve it. The attributes of the brand uh, that we have um, improved recognizability in is the flavor, but we're going to work on other um, parameters, and then leadership in. Um, target audiences. So um, these are families with children and movie goers and gamers. So we are planning to launch um, altogether 10 ad campaigns for these for this target audience. So how does this strategy um, how can it help our growth? So we're going to uh, be even more demanding when it comes to, and thorough when it comes to creating promotion. And uh, we are going to keep working with YEP, with our favorite agency. They, they make great videos, and you've seen them. We're going to be um, um, also um, asking and inviting in other agencies for new projects and special projects. And we um, are set to combine internet um, promotions and ad and um, and make it more target-based and, and spend our market fund um, more with target. Then, of course, more videos, more um, creative ideas, and we're actually doubling the budget for these, for the creative content. So something that we're going to be focusing on is for all of the ad campaigns to have a very strong video content. So um, last year, about a third of the budget went into functional um, um, ads. So something that is more um, offer-driven, um, so, um, or order-driven, so something that um, is not necessarily about the brand or very creative, but something that we're going to be focusing on is um, top of mind, knowledge of the brand, our values, um, so on all levels. So something that, so this is, this is something that will be um, reflected in the numbers. 83% is, uh, is how much the marketing fund is going to grow next year. Plan revenue growth is less than this, but, um, but we're expecting 
280 billion um, million in um, in the marketing fund, and we're going to be working on 25 campaigns um, in, compared to 16 um, last year. And this is going to really grow the frequency of touch um, with the audience. Last year, we we would touch. Um, 2.3 touch every customer 2.3 times a month, so about 70 times a 60, 70 times a year. Um, so we are going to grow to 60, 70 this year. We keep we're, we're we're staying in the information field. Our clients see us, new clients try us, and this is extremely important to work with the barriers that I mentioned. So the tasks of the brand stay the same. Top of mind attributes of the brand, the leadership in um, target aud um, audiences, more creative um, ad campaigns, and more touch. So let's talk about personalization now that we've covered the brand. These brands in the screen are well familiar to you. They keep growing. They're always in the news. So what's, what is um, something that is characteristic of them? 80% of digital brands um, invest in personalization and clients love it. 91% of customers say that they're more likely to buy from brands that offer personalized offers. So sounds familiar, right? Because in 2018 and 2019, we talked about personalization. So let's see where we are now. I've gathered orders and um, and offers, offers um, um, that I've received in the past month. N never, never too many discounts. Maybe, maybe sometimes that's that's the case. I love. Um, I love the um, the mushroom pizza, but I'm not a fan of the chicken ranch pizza, but it's being offered to me. Today, some of our communication is personalized. So some of the communication that we send out is somewhat based on the order history. But what we want to move to is the personalized marketing. We want to, in order to do that, we want to adapt the value management, client value management. We have data that we have have been gathering over the past few years and we have prepared this data for very serious and thorough work and based on this data we're going to be working on very um, thorough analytical models and modeling to work through and come up with hypotheses and test these hypotheses um, in work. So what's the difference between the personalized model of um, clients that we are going to be using now, we are going to be, the, the way it's different, we're going to be uh, looking at the life cycle of the client, the, the cycle of interactions with us. The expectations and the wishes, uh, depending on the stage of this life cycle um, of working and interaction with us, um, is something that influences what the person needs at this particular time. So the white line here is the sort of average life uh, um, expectancy of a client within a company, so meaning the life, the, the interactions, right? The story of the interactions. We want to make this line the red line. We want to make it longer, and we want to make it higher. So what we do at the beginning of our relationship, of our interactions, we um, attract the client to place the first order. We check that the order went well. We talk about our hits. We talk about our new offers. We we show in the stories in the app um, how to use our delivery. These are the hits and where to click and where to push buttons. So we simplify the entry for the client. Then we really strive for the person to come back for the second, third order, um, for, um, for them to come back, for them to try. And we offer really great um, offers. We offer um, trackability of the um, of the orders and of how of their level of satisfaction. And as soon as they become more loyal and more regular, we ch keep checking back and we keep making sure that this client grows their basket 
and um, we make sure to provide personalized discounts offers. So what happens with our most loyal customers? The most sensitive um, part of our client base is, uh, is, of course, our most loyal customers, and we can be proactive reacting to their any of their possible um, moods, and uh, and we can surprise them with entertainment and with offers and with gifts. Uh, when it comes to CVM, we're going to be working on two blocks. First of them is the loyalty program, and in September we're launching a loyal loyalty progr program um, cash back in our internal cash Dodo coin. Within the app, there will be a marketplace, a store uh, where people will be able to buy certain products um, at first only ours and then um, further um, along those of our, of our uh, partners. And then in addition to the marketplace, there will be missions, so sorts of tasks and games and comp competitive element. Um, so tasks for people to um, to um, carry out. So these are these are very general, right? Pro program loyalty programs. So not necessarily very personalized. But then personalized scenarios, new clients. Um, um, personalized interactions um, depending on the life cycle scenario um, and then a frequency of um, sales and then very, very strict um, personalization. With every sale you will get um, coins and then you'll be able to um, enter our marketplace and spend your coins on essentially um, the products that are going to be free of charge with, because you use your coins. So this is this shows just how deep we can um, we can enter uh, of customization, right, and personalization. Say hi, Dennis. Coffee is a passion, and so the little mission, the task that we're going to um, offer is: um, why don't you try all of our flavors, and you'll get this kind of um, amount of coins. So Magomed usually buys pizza, usually buys donors, but then he comes for. Uh, for us, to us, for um, for pizza, and we offer them, offer him giant cashback on the next um, order. Katya went to London, of course. Lobster mango pizza is great, so we see that Katya left us, and she doesn't place orders anymore. But but what we offer her is, as soon as you come back, Katya, your your favorite pizza is waiting for you. Vanya is inspecting all of our all of our pizza restaurants in Eurasia, so. So every fifth um, and every fifth um, visit is going to be free for him. So with this personalized work, um, you've seen our clients expect bonuses and discounts, and everyone's very sensitive to price. So within our business model, there's a f the finance model is the discount. But and right now it's not necessarily very personalized, and sometimes it's even too much information and too many discount offers not necessarily very easy to navigate so when we change this and upgrade this and improve this the the biggest part is going to be personalized the regional local and federal um, discounts are going to be less and we're going to be spending less money on this so um, so the personalized is going to give us the biggest share of um, profit so um, um, our prognosis is that um, by 2022, this approach will give us 5% growth of um, revenue growth, in addition to organic growth, uh, in addition to top of mind uh, growth. This is 2 billion rubles for all of our chain. And it's this extra 3 million rubles a year on average for every pizza restaurant. And you won't need to focus any effort on this. We want you to focus on giving the best service, building the best product, delivering it the fastest, and and then um, gain all of the um, profit that, that we're creating with our new strategies. So the way we're doing this is we have a top 
top specialist in CVM, and we're hiring five um, people for the marketing, the new marketing team. Um, these are data analysts who are going to be testing the hypothesis that I'm telling you about. Um, and we have a CVM company in the IT department. People have been working on Dodo IS, who will be integrating um, the system with automatization company. So we need we need this from both sides, and Vanya will um, elaborate on this um, about the number of people that we're hiring in order to implement these new strategies. And these technologies, these tools, are going to help us achieve the fantastic numbers and results. So. Um, this this uh, quarter, we are starting um, the loyalty program and then recruiting. Next quarter, it's the, uh, the missions that we're launching, and we're launching the um, app constructor. And uh, so that by 2022, we really launch the personalization, the new kind of personalization, depending on what um, hypotheses we ha will have tested um, and strengthening the teams. And then uh, by the middle of the next year, we are planning to um, to really arrive at a point where um, everything is automate, um, automated and the, the recommendation models are working well. So we are ready. The barriers are clear. We know what to do with them. The competition, the client context, the price sensitivity, we believe that our formula of growth the long-term kind of growth is the continuous work on client experience, working on brands, working on recognizability of the companies of touch and personalization. So, our strategy, sustainability, um, client experience, personalization, and penetration. So um, the strategies we have um, told you about with Max, together with Max. So um, we are ready to wrap up um, our meeting. But before we do so, I want to talk about IT, so information technologies. Um, in Katya's presentation, in Magomed's presentation, my presentation, and Max's presentation, there are a lot of plans connected to digital um, product to um, information technology. We won't be able to carry these out without um, without achieving really great results in IT. So something that I would like to point out, um, something that I noticed this spring. Um, so in the external market, uh, in among those who um, who listen to us from the outside, our image is a sort of um, high-tech company. Um, but inside, we seem to have a different attitude sometimes. Something that I realized, uh, I thought of something, and then I thought, oh, backlog, you know, three years to come, I'm not even going to start trying. I was wrong. I noticed that I did this. This is not, this is not something that um, is a very partner kind of approach. It's, it's unjust. It's not, it's not right. It's not fair. Actually, we have the very best team possible. These people could work at Google, at Yandex, at Facebook. They choose us. They believe in us. They invest our, their effort and their emotions. So, um, so the issues that we're facing and the speed and where it's never enough and um, and we're afraid of competition. Of course, this is connected to this objective ambitiousness that we have and the objective difficulties. Our team is relatively small for a kind of for these kinds of products. One person is responsible for different products, and they have to take care of multiple things at the same time. And um, there are all these people who are unsatisfied here, unsatisfied there. But I want to really thank our IT team, and I want you to give a big round of applause to our IT team. Thank you so, so, so much for the passion, for your competence, for your expertise, and for the energy that you put in. 
our team is is really in, cannot be compared to the volume of ambition and our challenges that we face. But we also do know that all of our history, the history of the companies, is the history of the company of overcoming these challenges and growing. Um, last year, Sasha Andronov, head of IT, was explaining to um, why did we even have this big goal of having 250 coders engineering team. Um, why is that? Why did we need that? Because the product is very difficult and um, the amount of the volume of um, tasks and um, issues and and all of our challenges is, 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 is re requires this. But in a, in a couple of months, we really had a dip in like for like. And we were really confused. We, we do work in very tight financial restrictions. For the time being, we don't have we do not have um, unlimited resources. But for the but uh, but this is a kind of challenge that that also drove um, the concepts of Drinkit and of donor. Um, it's and in the 333 plan, we were planning to build up our team from 150 to 250 by the end of 2023, but we do understand that we can, um, that this won't, this may not be enough to keep up with um, our technological com competitors. How we do also have these amazing results that um, can make us very brave um, to um, to tackle new challenges. So just recently, we have decided to increase our team to 250 people in 2021. Uh, finding finding a good coder, a good engineer, is is extremely difficult. More difficult than finding a good coder. It's a bloody market. Uh, it all needs time, it all needs training. Um, this commitment is for this year. Basically, we we now have this um, idea to practically double the team, but this is, this is a decision that can really push us forward. This decision, however, does not um, does not completely solve the problem of building up uh, and of the challenges, uh, and also the fact that we're, we're working um, on drink it and on donor and, and people ask me like do people are there enough people for your pizza projects or are, or are the new projects taking it all up so in order to answer these questions including to answer them for ourselves um, and to make it more efficient what we decided uh, is to restructure dodo engineering is that's our IT company so our dodo engineering company is now divided into two platform dodo IS so this is um, all of our concepts uh, can use this donor drink it any other new concepts possibly um, so this is something that um, can be, uh, the blocks can be cu customized and tailor-made. But at the same time, in every market, in every concept, there is what we call a market team, uh, the concept team. So those are the um, engineers, those are, those are the coders who uh, work specifically with this concept and who use um, Dodo IS as the external platform. So we have the product that is Dodo IS platform. And then we have Dodo Pizza, Donor, Drink It, um, International Franchising, and our uh, new Iki company, uh, Iki team. So something that I'm hoping is going to arrive soon. So because I'm talking about Dodo Pizza, what is this team um, going to look like? So we have um, two IT uh, teams. So first, uh, deliveries, right? There's country-specific teams. Those are teams that are working on Dodo Pizza Eurasia, they work on the site, on the um, application, on the combos, and they're focused on, on these tests. But there are four more teams who work with the global, uh, who will be working on, on global tasks eventually, but next year on Eurasia. Personalization, um, the, the people, so there's recruiting and there's a person, there's um, um, 
um, team uh, production and then uh, and then the team for client support these are not these is these are not just plans these are all, um, concrete people that we have already assigned to these tasks and uh, these people who work in tandems as part of the overall st strategy of Eurasia. And I am the one who is responsible for um, Eurasia's strategy, and Sasha Androv, who is the leader of the platform IS. So we want to, we want to move away from uh, this division, this distinction between IT and business, because IT and business are in intrinsically connected, um, they cannot be separated. So that's, um, those are the final slides and um, let's recap and um, see what we have been talking about. We have the now. The, the history of how we've come to this place, we are great, we are heroes, we have some obstacles in our path, we have threats and we have challenges, we have ambition, and ambition is the best um, future to, to make the best product, to make the best opportunities for the society, for ourselves, for our employees, and we have a strategy to overcome these obstacles. Uh, and uh, to keep growing. So, do you know what this is? This is a scenario for any good story. The concept is um, that all of the main histories and religions and mythologies of the world are built basically around one uh, plot line. It's the hero's journey. This is my favorite book. Remember your favorite book from childhood. Remember who you rooted for uh, when you were a kid. Who were they? What, they're, what were they doing? And it's likely that this was a hero setting um, setting some goals uh, suffering along the way maybe grudging through it but but still still kept going and going and going someone who we can truly uh, resonate with uh, someone who we admire someone who we can all be dodo pizza and dodo brands we are true heroes each and every one of them uh, one of us has our hero's journey and we're so lucky that in full or in part our hero's journeys coincide together with a dodo's hero's journey i think that we have everything that's needed to uh, overcome all of the obstacles and be the winners of this hero's path. So let's walk on this path together.